and Shuman Mitra from Techno Kids. Today we will try to open up a hard disk and see what's inside that. Interesting? Ok, so let's get started. This is the hard disk which we will open up today. Got it from my father and we really do not care about the data lying inside this as it is a pretty old one. It's around 18 years old. That's too much. Now, you see this silver plate? It is the top view of the hard disk. Okay. This is the top view of the hard disk. Now, this is the front view. You see these two stickers? There is, this is the front view. Now, this is the left hand side side view. This is the right hand side, side view. Now this one is the back one, back side view. Back view. There are some connectors. Okay. Now this is the bottom part of the hard disk. Bottom part of the hard disk. Now you see these three screws on each side or here and here. Those are for attaching the top part of the hard disk to this body. Okay. Now you see this screw over here. Over here. That's one secret screw. It was hidden under two stickers. One is like it was a big one. You see one rectangular shape over here. That was the big sticker and below that there was a silver type sticker or here which was covering the screw. When we took out that we found the screw and I opened it then I could get the inside part of the hard disk. There is no such thing at the front view only two stickers. Now you see these three holes on the side over here those are for attaching the hard disk to the chassis of the computer even it's on the other side or here now this is the back view of the hard disk there are some connectors for wires now let's understand this one you see four pins now that is called as the power connector it will be like this be like this you see this power connector will be like this will connect here the, now let's understand from where does the power come the power comes from the SMPS the full form of SMPS is switch mode power supply supply we'll understand the switch mode power supply when we open a computer okay now let's understand these there are eight pins totally over here as you see here see golden color not golden here that's called as the jumper block okay now here are some of those instructions jumpers now you see over here there are eight pins totally over here it means if there's no rectangle in each of them like this as you see here that is called as a slave okay now let's go to the next one now you see this there's one rectangle over here now this is called as master or single drive this hard disk is a master or single drive because it's like this actually that this is a master or single drive okay. now let's understand this one now this is called as a IDE connector which gets the data okay now how does it come it comes with the help of this wire actually this one 
door because why we were pulling it out this door of like this if you want to see the real one it'll be like this there was one there was one connector over here see this or here you see fc hyphen 4 op that's called this one's one connector which holds the wire in place that while we were pulling it out it just came out means it broke that's why do you see these pins many pins that just stayed there now this cable has 40 holes for connecting it over here. Actually, this broke off as I told you. It connects like this. As you know, 20 plus 20 is 40. Over here, there are 40 pins like this. And there are 40 wires over here. You will see. 40 wires here. So now let's open the hard disk. We'll open up the hard disk with this one. Now let me take it. Let me open the screws with this bit. This is small. So now I'll see the other size. I'll take this one. And this will fit. Now this is big. this one then oh. yes this fits now the number of this one is T8 you see after CRV over here CRV T8 is the number of this so now we can open this we got the number So now I opened all the screws. As you see, there's no screw over here, even the middle one. So now let us take out the plate. It's top cover. Now here's the inside of the hard disk. Now this is the inside of the hard disk for here. Now let's discuss about the hard disk. Okay, now see this whole gray part over here. From here till the tip. That's called as the actuator arm. It's called as the actuator arm. Okay, for here. This one. Okay, now you see this circle one. That's called as a disk, also known as a platter. Over here, the data goes inside and gets stored. Over inside this. Okay. Actually, I opened it last time. That's why you see many fingerprints over here. I'll just clean it or make my... Not going. Okay, not going as you see many scratches because while I was op trying to open it, it went. Okay. Now you see this one after this gray color part over here, that's called as the actuator. Okay, there's a magnet under this. And you see this one more circle over here, over here in the actuator arm. That's called as the actuator axis. 
which rotates this actuator arm it will rotate like this but this actually got spoiled while we are opening it that's fine but it will move like this now you see this one over here that's called as a spindle which rotates the disc like this there's a motor under this under the disc there's a motor which rotates this okay now let's open in this let's start opening this there's one screw over here as i told you underneath this there's a strong a powerful magnet Let's open this. This is a big screw actually. Yeah, see, compared to this, it's a little bit bigger. Keep this aside here. Now, let me take my this one so that I can open this powerful magnet. like that come on okay yeah oh man it's like this see this one over here that's the magnet okay this is the magnet over here Okay, now we got to open this. You have to try. Okay. Good. It went this side. Now this arm actually oscillates on disc like this. It goes over here while you want to read data or write data. Or if you don't want anything, it will just be like this. Okay, it will just be like this. Okay. Now, it's open. You see one more magnet here, like the same one here. Same one here. Same one there. It's actually covered with that arm. Over here. This one, oh my, this place where this one is stuck here. That's one magnet. If you take it here, this is also a magnet. If I put it here, it's not a magnet. And these two are powerful magnets that make this on my oscillate. Now let's open the disc to see what's further inside the hard disk. So we have to open six screws over here. So let us start it. So now I opened all the six screws over here as you see over here there's six screws totally okay 
So then this is one type of lock which keeps the disc nicely inside here. So like this. So now underneath there's one more disc that will be shining like a mirror. See my reflection is coming. When it over here it's one more. Okay, this is how a disc looks. This is actually scratch this. Okay, let's get this one out. Oh, there's one more washer here which separates these two discs. It avoids these two discs for touching. Let's take the washer out. This is one of the washer. Let's take the other disc out. Okay. Here's the disc. Okay. Then so now here you see there's a motor here. See with three screws. This is the motor. So now where's my screw? Oh, it's here. I'm in my screwdriver. Okay, so let's open these three screws right here. Okay, let's start. Okay. So now this is the whole motor. This is top view of the motor it's the top view of the motor now this is the bottom view of the motor now you see three pins right here right here those are for getting the power for the motor for rotating these discs like this It'll attach over here. See these three right here like rectangles. Those will connect to this these three pins over here. We'll connect like this. Okay, we'll see the circuit after some time. Here is the back plate. Now let's see the heads and the arms. Okay. Okay. Now you see three heads. Actually, there are four heads. One of them broke off or here, the top. These heads read and write the data to the disks, both top or bottom. Okay. Any one side. Okay. Now. You see uh, three arms over here, right? Three arms. Those attach the heads. Okay. Those attach the heads over here. Now in the middle over here, in the middle head arm, you see there are two attached over here, right? Because we don't want to give more uh, arms. Okay, because they will touch each another if we give one more. Okay. Here. Yeah. Oh, here you see there are in one there are two heads. These. Now let's go towards the back side of the hard disk means the bottom side actually we will not remove the screw because there is a powerful magnet I told you standing over here okay so it will be a little bit hard job for so now let's go for here is the 
bottom side so now I remove both the screws over here so now let's take it out now let's see what's inside this I think it'll be a little bit interesting okay there's many chips over here there's a circuit over here okay there are many chips now we have to remove these screws okay this is amazing completely perfect circuit actually i don't know what why did they give these chips but there are many transistors chips as i told you there are many chips registers the circuit board by removing these four screws if there's something inside we can uh, understand that also but if there's nothing we'll just Bye. so now I opened all the four screws over here Okay, so now let's pull out the circuit board. Okay, here the things over here. Little connectors. Oh, here's the IDE connector. Here's the jumper block. Here's the power connector. It comes over here. Now there's really like many lines over here, you see. This is the bottom of the circuit board over here. This is also complex, like the top part of it, right? It's too complex. Amazing. Really amazing. Okay, now what's this? See this orange part over here? Actually, that's a hmm, protection. So to avoid scratches on the board or the sorry the circuit board or here to avoid scratches or here. This is glossy and smooth on the top or here. This is a plastic lining and but if we hmm, go to the bottom it's like foam. They actually keep a plastic lining over here. Hey, what's this? Over here. I think it connects over here. See this? Over here. I think it connects here. Let us see. Over there. Maybe we front. Go back on the front. Top. It's over here somewhere. I think. Let us see if it comes out. It doesn't come out actually. Just a wire. Okay. Actually, you see this um, hole, this type of stick over here, not a stick. Okay. That will go inside the small hole over here. Right. Over here, you see this hole, it will go inside that. Like when I place the circuit board, it will go inside like this. As it, see this? Over here. Okay, I forgot this one. Keep this back here. Okay, there's a hole. See if it comes. Came here. 
There's nothing else to open in this hard disk, leaving the actuator, cause that'll be a hard job to put it back. We'll try to put the parts back of the hard disk. So let's get started. Now let's try to put back the discs, discs, the spindle, the motor, the screws. Let me see if I can do that. This will be a bit tough job. Let me see. So I'll keep this motor first. Okay. So I'll take my screws. One screw inside. Second. And then third. Now the motor is placed in. Now we have to keep the discs back. Keep the first. Keep the washer back. Yeah. Let's take the other disc. Yeah. I don't remember which this disc was the first one or the second one. Okay, I just is like just same for me. Everything's same for me. So I'll just Keep this lock back here. Are the screws? Okay. No, these are not the screws. These are the screws. These. Okay, this. Is, this was not difficult. It was really interesting. Um, it's really nice. I just put back all the screws. Easily. It was too easy. So this is all for the video. Thank you for watching this video. And I will try to come up with more and more videos like this. For all Techno Kiddies.